Hey, welcome back everybody to America Travel Fun. I'm Chuck, your host, and I have a question. Have you ever wondered what makes America so, say, American? Well, I have. And I actually looked it up to find a few things out, pertaining to food and traveling. And here are some of the quirkies and odd traditions that other people from other countries other than the U.S. would get off the plane and say, what the fuck, America? And just to let you guys know for a little background, as of 2024, there are 195 countries in the world. And this does include 193 member states of the United Nations and two observer states, Vatican City and Palestine. Now on with the show. And starting with number one, we have portion sizes. Ordering a meal at an American restaurant might shock you with its large portion sizes compared to your home country. In the US, it's common to see supersized meals that can easily feed two people or possibly even more. It's also typical to bring home what we call little doggy bags or to-go boxes. This is typical in only about 10 countries, including the US. In contrast, France offers a smaller and more refined portions, focusing on quality over quantity. Now, out of fairness, that's what the French say. They kind of have to say that, just let's be honest. You know, they're French. They gotta say that. They gotta defend themselves. So I don't blame. The average American meal size is about 40% larger than the average French size meal. Just thought you might like to know that. Give you a little comparison of how much bigger we are. Number two, tipping culture. All right, this one is ever confusing and ever changing. And I hate this. One. This is the one I wish that would go away the most. You're dining at a local diner, say in New York City. The food was great. The service was also amazing, impeccable. And now it's time to pay. In the US, it's customary to leave between, say, 15 to 20% for a tip. This is common in around 40 countries, including the US. But did you know, in Japan, tipping is not customary and can even be considered rude. Instead, excellence is expected as a part of the dining experience. And that is something I wish that we had here in America, where they had no tipping for that, but it's expected. That I like. All right, moving on to number three, we have refills. To go into an American restaurant and not get a free refill is almost unheard of. Most places just say free refills automatically. You just assume it most of the time. In the U.S., you can often get unlimited refills on beverages such as soft drinks, tea, soda, coffee, what have you. Non-alcoholic drinks. Refills are only common in around five countries, including the U.S. In the U.K., for example, Free refills are rare and you typically have to pay for each drink separately, which could add up real quick if you have, say, a family of six. Hell, a like family of three and you just each want two drinks apiece. See, that part I disagree with. I'll keep our free refills. Y'all can keep that one, UK. Number four, food variety. The US offers a diverse food options from Mexican to Thai to Ethiopian to everything under the sun. You can find almost any cuisine you crave in almost any major city. And just to give an example, New York City alone is home to over 24,000 restaurants, representing cuisines from nearly every country in the world. So yeah, you go to New York, you get whatever you want, no matter where you're from. You'll be, you'll be fine. This high diversity is actually only seen in around 40 countries. See, I thought it would be higher than that. I kind of thought with the way things are now, with all the travel and everything, I thought it would be a lot closer to 50-50 at least. Yeah, because for example, in Iceland, food variety out there is not very diverse. They focus more on traditional and local cuisine, mainly due to the remote location of where they are. I mean, it's kind of hard to get stuff out there on, you know, without causing an arm and a leg. Number five, our fast food culture. Grabbing a quick meal from fast food chains like McDonald's or Taco Bell is commonplace here. Fast food has became a daily part of American routines. You wake up in the morning and then you sit on the drive through for a half hour because, you know, it's fast food. Go to McDonald's, grab a cup of coffee, grab a sausage egg McMuffin, you're on your way. Maybe a hash brown if you're really starving. You know, a couple bucks, you're out the house, you're on your way. The strong presence of fast food is only seen in roughly 35 countries, while Italy, for example, is less into the fast food and has a greater emphasis on traditional sit-down meals and fresh ingredients. See, now that one I kind of wish we had here too. I'd be okay with less fast food. All that grease, everything's greasy. And just to give you an example of how addicted Americans are to fast food, the US has the most McDonald's locations in the world with over 13,000 restaurants. 
What do you think of that? We're number one. America's number one. We're number one. We're number one. Go America. And at number six, we have hotel breakfast. Enjoying complimentary breakfast at your hotel is a American tradition, ranging from simple continental options to full breakfast buffets with eggs, bacon, pancakes, the works. And this is only common in about 30 countries, including the US. Many Asian countries might include some breakfast, but often it would feature dishes like kanji. Kanji? Yeah. It often features local dishes like kanji, rice, or fish. And I'm not really down with rice and fish first thing in the morning. I wake up, I do not want fish. And I have no idea what kanji. Could somebody please tell me in the comments what in the world kanji is and if it's good and if so, can I buy it in America? Because I love to try new foods. Please tell me. Ignorant American needing to know. And did you know that the tradition of continental breakfast started in the early 19th century in Europe? and was actually adopted by American hotels to appeal to European travelers. So thank you, Europe. We appreciate that. I do like having a nice free breakfast in the morning after my hotel stay. Whether it's continental or full breakfast, I don't care. If I get my coffee, I'm a happy camper. And there you have it, six American customs that might leave your head scratching if you're from another country. Otherwise, if in America you're saying, yep, that sounds about right. If anybody from another country is watching this and has experienced these, please let me know. What did you think? Did, did it bother you? Were you offended? Did you, were you confused? Please let me know down in the comments. I'd love to know. And if you guys like this, I'll make another video about this. And also don't forget to like, subscribe, and check out our website, americantravel.fun. Also check out our Redbubble shop at americantravel slash Redbubble or something like that. I don't know. I'll have a link down at the bottom. I'll link, I don't know what it is. You guys, I'll have a link down in the description below for our website, American Travel Newsletter, which is only quarterly, and for our Redbubble shop. Until next time, have fun, guys.